what's going on you guys welcome back to another video and in this video we are back with another review in halo infinite this video we are taking a look at the war master armor set this came out today and you know it's new and i love the way this looks so let's just go through it comes with the war master helmet so this is all for the mark 7 core maybe in the future it will be cross core who knows but at the moment this is only on the mark 7 uh comes with the blue ash armor coating i really really like this armor coating i think it looks really really good comes with a helmet attachment called the trail watch uh the drachen ordnance pack right here shoulder pads okay i really do like these shoulder pads i think they look really nice big gloves called the flex point a epic wrist attachment called the project step sweep and fire team grizzly armor emblems and nameplate and vehicle emblems and so on so let's go take a look at the armor all right so first of all let's take a look at the coatings and how it looks with the helmet uh so we have the obviously the blue ash what it comes with we have a bunch of the default ones right here okay going through a banner deception we have the caraba sirocco uh, limed Ash, Peppermint Laughter, Stone Green, Tempest Lilac, Alabaster Cognac, Arctic Void, Blue Rampage, uh, Blue Wood Bowl. I actually kind of like the way that looks. Uh, Cosmic Corruption, uh, Crimson Vettel, Dogfight Makovich, Electric Bubblegum. Looks interesting. I really do like the pink uh, coating. I really do like this one. Uh, Faded Blush, Ghost Gray. That looks really cool. I like it. Uh, HDS Winter. Lava Burst, Midnight Griffin, Neon Superfly, Noble Portal, Obelisk Stone, Optimal, or OPI. For some reason, I was about to read the entire thing. Uh, Redshift, Scorpion Horvath, Scorpion Punch, Shadow Sorrel, Tahuna Sands, Wet Crow, Wild Coven, Zeta Sky, Bleached Bone. That looks cool. I think the I think the Bleached Bone goes well with so many uh, different armor pieces. Uh, Blood Shadow, uh, Estate Gold. Foxwood Seal, Platinum Anniversary, and Vermilion Fire. We have Big Sur, Cloven Seafoam, Hex and Slate, uh, Mill Spec Stack, Old Voodoo, uh, Raffia Wood, Sandrift Gully, Scarlet Wake, Sizzling Coral, Wooster Smoke, Cascade Clay, uh, Complimentary Poppy, Flash Fjord, uh, Grassroots, Gunsmoke Gold, Malmac Shore, Splinter Desert, Sunset Contessa, and Midnight Frost, which this one looks really good too. Let's take a look at some visors that go well with this helmet and the coating. So here we have the bell toll. I think the bell toll goes well with like any coating that you throw at it. Seriously, it looks really good. Uh, the Enlisted, Beltane Flame, Bryce, Goblin, Phalanx, Sigil. Uh, this one could work the other one's not really not gonna lie but this one i can see it working uh blackpool nope buckingham no nah. dragoon uh i can see this working uh dynasty eh, it's not it's not terrible but it's not too great uh interrupt mithril uh too bright on the blue it's too yeah too bright maybe if it was a little bit lighter then it would work uh vandal this looks good i like it juice no Willow Wisp, honestly, I think this one goes pretty well. I like it. Uh, the Charging Armadillo, mm, not really. Gray Skull, oh yeah, this looks really good. I love it. Uh, tactical Modalities, not really. Actually, it can work. It can work. Obviously, it's too bright. It doesn't really match the blue on the armor coating, but it can work. Uh, the Unyielding Will, the Victor. This one, I think, works a little bit better, but the orange is kind of throwing me off in the visor. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe. Uh, ANZ launch. This one looks good. With the helmet? Oh, yeah. This one looks good. Hell, yeah. This one's nice. Uh, Europe launch. Uh, goes well with the uh, armor coating. Okay. Uh, Latin America. Not bad, but not too great. Uh, North America launch. Mm, kind of. I think the other red visors were better. Uh, and Legend. Okay, so that is that. So you can't actually see your uh, nameplate or emblem on this, but let me quickly find the one that we got here. It's the, uh, the Fire Team Grizzly. Yeah, so it's not visible, but let's take a look at the different uh, colors. So you have Cold Snap, Bark Skin, Corporate Blue, and Rosary Toss. Let's take a closer look at it for the nameplates. 
All right, so this is the cold snap. Then we have the bark skin, the corporate blue, and the rosary toss. And I honestly really like the rosary toss and the corporate blue. I think the bark skin is my least favorite. I don't know. Just doesn't go that well. But these two, and honestly, the default one is pretty nice. Uh, but you know what? Let's go with the rosary toss for our review. I also want to show you guys the armor effects on the helmet itself. So we have the neon hawk right here. Okay, we have the neon screen. I'm not really a fan of this one for this because I actually want to see the visor and the helmet. Um, this one just kind of blocks it. Uh, the perfect circle. Okay, the perfect sublimity. This looks really good. I like it. Looks really, really good. The judgment helm. Okay, the judgment mantle. And the Pack Master's Glare. I can't wait until I unlock this because it's a really cool armor effect. Alright guys, let's not waste any more time and let's get into a game and see what our Spartan looks like. Alright, let's take a look. Should be good. Alright, seems like we're going to be at the end. Okay, okay. I love it. I really like the helmet. Not going to lie. Um, but one thing I noticed with the uh, the bell toll visor is that it basically Like you're not really able to see the actual outlines of the visor itself So if you really want to see how sharp the uh, visor looks I definitely suggest Well, how did I die? I definitely suggest that you um, use a different visor Because this one you can't really see how sharp the visor is But other than that, I really like the helmet. I think it looks really good. Oh my god, I don't know how we won that. We were doing so well and then we started choking it. Holy, but we we won. Just barely, just barely we made it through. But there is the War Master uh, armor set. Looks really good, I love it. So anyways guys, that is the War Master set. I really do like it. Honestly, my favorite things would probably be the shoulder pads, the helmet, and obviously the coating. I think that looks really, really nice. Um, for the visor, I would definitely recommend to wear something else so you can at least see like the sharpness and or, like, the, the, like the design of the visor itself because the belt tool kind of makes it really hard to see. Um, so maybe I'll recommend, I don't know, some of the ones that we took a look at. But other than that, it's a really good set. And I highly, highly recommend it. So anyways, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you all very much for watching. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.